Hi, now I will show you how you use the overlay scheduler. I recommend you to watch the program scheduler tutorial before watching this tutorial if you don't know how to use the program scheduler. First of all, as you know, I show you the settings tab. At script scheduler, you can set settings regarding to the overlay scheduler at this section. First of all, I recommend you to use the advertising storage and set a folder, for example, at local or at network storage. You can also set different media types, which should be suppressed before an overlay is played out. And you can set different other options to your overlay and advertising management. Okay. As you know, there are two schedulers at PropFrax on air. So why? At the program scheduler, you define all shows and music scheduling programs. The overlay scheduler is for playing out advertising, news or even pre-recorded shows. So at the overlay scheduler, you define specific files or slots where specific files are stored, which should be played out once. And at the program scheduler, you define recurring events, which will generate a individual playlist. Okay. So the user interface of the overlay scheduler looks rather similar to the program scheduler. You've got the same calendar options at the top and I will zoom in. So with right click as at the program scheduler, you can create new overlays or new recurring overlays. But you have no possibility to add reminder. Okay, there you can define a recurrence, uh, same procedure as at program scheduler. Now I remove the recurrence. First of all, you give a title of the overlay. Then you can set a category which has also no effect for playing out this overlay, for example, info, and you can set a description. Now you choose what should be played out. For example, an advert slot, a script, playlist, open an input or even playing a news slot. And you can set if this script or advert slot should be manual played out. You can also set options, which could be rather useful, for example, when your show is done by a host. You can, for example, define allow editing this overlay, allow delay, allow moderator changes and so on. So here we define, for example, the AdWords slot, which should be executed. I will choose a script which should be executed, for example, test. Now I can choose a condition when this overlay should be played out. For example, if autoplay is on, if autoplay is off, if nobody is on air, if the scheduler is running, not running, etc. You can also set a reference name if you have got a class of same overlays. Here you can define your start type. It's rather the same as at program scheduler. You've got fixed for fixed playout, soft for playout with delay. You've got manual and you've got ends at. Ends at is a special function. Um, so you can define if an overlay should end at a specific time. And if you set ends at, the overlay will end at the time which you define here. In some cases it could be useful. You can also set allow start early. At mixing time you define the time between two programs, for example the current program and this overlay. If you set zero the cue points of the current track would be used. Um, but for example at news it could be useful to have a little time lag between two programs in order not to have uh, the opener jingle on a music track. So this function is rather important because here you can set how long before this overlay starts it should be 
open up and show the host, oh, I've got in 300 seconds an overlay which will play out advertising, for example. If you set zero at show, the overlay won't be played out. So you have to set a time if it should be played out automatically. If you set zero, it would be planned, but have to be play out manually by a host. For your streaming title, you can set different title updates. For example, use no title update, use the campaign name or use the track name. You can also define a bridge track and set suspend program or even pause the current track, then play out the overlay and then resume the current track. And you can set opener and closer, but be careful because at advertising and news management, you can also set open and closer for your campaign or even news. And at control comments, you have got different possibilities on creating comments on different events, for example, on overlay shown, on overlay played, etc. So this is how overlaying in PropFrax on air works. I will explain advertising and news management in an extra tutorial. So have fun. Thanks for your attention.